I'm going to make a brief statement. I'm going to tell you what I know as of right now because I'm doing this an hour early, okay? I'll tell you what I know, and I'm going to answer a couple of questions. And at 12 o'clock, when I talk to the state fire marshal, I can come back and give you more information. I'm going to be very forthwith with you. I know that school incidents are, are important to everybody right now. We're going to give you some complete transparency on this little deal here, okay? Sounds good. All right. Nice. All right, tell me when you're ready. All right, okay. right let's, uh, let's start with your first and last name, how to spell it, and your title. Uh, my name is Dr. Moore, Leland Moore, L-E-L-A-N-D-M-O-O-R-E. -E. And your title, sir? Superintendent of Schools. All right, what can you tell us? Last night about 10-15, we got a call that uh, there was a fire here at the uh, motor pool in the district. Uh, district personnel shows up. San Jacinto County Sheriff's Office shows up. Uh, first responders shows up, done an extremely good job on putting the fires out. The fires were extinguished within a 20 to 30 minute period. Uh, state, uh, the local fire marshal in the county came we also had the bomb squad from Montgomery come in, make a sweep of the uh, campus here. Uh, they found nothing. Uh, we looked at the cameras. We seen nothing on the cameras. Four bu buses burned entirely. One bus, as you can see over there, is uh, got some significant damage to it. Uh, we now have the state fire marshal here to do a definitive intrinsic look at the situation to see if uh, there might be foul play of which we don't expect there to be any foul play we think it was an electrical fire with the buses one bus catching up then the others caught up after that uh, i'll answer some questions now if uh, you want to ask them and uh, what did you see on the video uh, we saw nothing on the video there was nobody else in here how many buses do you guys have? Uh, this is our transport. 25. 25. 25 buses. Okay, so even though it's spring break to lose, you know, five buses, how do, no one wants to get a call like this in the middle of the night, superintendent. How, how difficult is this going to be for you guys to, you know, go on as normal on Monday? Well, we're going to have school on Monday. Uh, we will either uh, uh, lease some buses. We'll borrow some buses from neighboring superintendents here. They've already called. Our region service center has already called. We'll have buses, uh, or we'll have school as normal on Monday. When you got that call in the middle of the night, you know, or I guess early evening, late evening, what, what went through your mind? Well, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's uh, 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 a situation that you just have to come deal with. Simple as that. And these buses are obviously insured, right? So it's not going to be taxpayer money paying to get new they ones? They are insured. You get here and you see this fire last night. What did you think? Well, I mean, uh, when I got here, the fire was uh, almost out. Uh, I think Chuck can speak to that better than I can. Well, I mean, your first thought is, you know, an act of arson. Once you get the fire put out, you get to looking at everything. You get to looking at everything. Uh, you know, you kind of you, you put that out that it may not be arson. Once we review the video, a little more investigating and stuff. It, highly unlikely that it is arson or any foul play involved. Can you see the fire start in the video? You can see where it flares up, yes. Can you guys release that video? Not at this no. time, but uh, after the investigation is over, we certainly will. Okay. So right now, it's not clear what actually started it. No, it's still currently under investigation. We've got the state fire marshal here, and that's what he's doing right there. He's doing his investigation. Uh, to replace the buses, well, it, it depends on which route we go. Uh, it, it could take a month or two to replace with brand new buses. But financially, you think insurance will cover all that, or will it be a financial challenge? Well, it's always a financial challenge. You know, when you insure these buses, you insure them uh, for replacement value. These buses, some of these buses were 12 to 14 years old. Uh, insurance is not going to pay uh, what a brand new bus, a brand new bus on today's market uh, is $95,000. So the answer to that is no, it's going to 
it's going to impose some financial hardships on the district, but uh, uh, we'll be fine.